History repeats itself again. See why a new addition to this season wasn't the sport's first chance at a last chance coming up on this episode of Inside the Leaderboard. What's up everyone? Tommy Marquez here with another edition of Inside the Leaderboard presented by Thorn personalized scientific wellness, and it is time to open up those history books because we're gonna take a little stroll down memory lane because even though the last chance qualifier is a new addition to this season, it is not the first time that it has been included in the sport's 15 year history. Let's go back to 2009, shall we? The miracle on the Hudson just happened. Mall Cop, a cinematic classic, was still in theaters, and the first ever last chance online qualifier was announced at the end of May. It was CrossFit's first virtual competition, and it was a single post to the game's website detailing three workouts done in a 24-hour window, and scores and accompanying videos had to be submitted via email. The three total tests were repurposed from regional events earlier that year. Test one was a couplet of heavy deadlifts and dubs from the Mid-Atlantic. Test two was a classic benchmark Jackie used in Canada West that year. And test three was a nasty 10 down to one triplet of power cleans, chest bar pull-ups, and kettlebell swings. The top five men and women were ultimately invited to the games, including an exemption for Steve Smith, who was stationed overseas in Iraq and didn't have access to a rower and had to sub. But the results were significant and produced three athletes that finished inside the top 15 and a podium finisher in eventual runner-up Tommy Hackenbrook. And speaking of Tommy Hackenbrook, I am joined now by the 2009 second place finisher at the CrossFit Games, Tommy Hackenbrook himself, also a multi-year champion for the Affiliate Cup and Hacks Pack. Tommy, thanks so much for chatting with me today. Thank you, it's an honor to be here and uh, an honor to be the second most well-known Tommy in uh, CrossFit. Ooh, I don't know about that. I, I still got a ways to go <laughs> for that, for sure. Um, but. Uh, I just mentioned that you were the second place finisher at the CrossFit Games, but you had a little bit of an unconventional path. How did you end up at the Games in 2009? Um, so I took, I, I missed the Games by one spot uh, from regionals. I was brand new to it, done it for about six months. Went to the regional, took fourth, you know, I think they took three people. I, interestingly, I actually reached out to Todd uh, Widman and he talked me off the ledge. He's like, you know, just get better. just. You know, you only focus on what you have control over. And um, and then the last chance qualifier was, was announced. So I was like, oh, I'm definitely doing this. And so you made the most of that opportunity. You go to the games, you don't just do well, you finish second, you end up on the podium. What did that finish and that opportunity do for you career-wise and for your life? Um, completely changed my life. I, I was in love with CrossFit. I was passionate about it and I just opened a gym. So I don't think a whole lot would have changed as far as you know, my passion for fitness and, and for coaching people. It's just led me on this journey of meeting incredible people and having incredible opportunities. And yeah, I've tried to be grateful, you know, ever since that day, you know, just to show my appreciation because um, it, it really just was everything. And so now we're back to 2021. The last chance qualifier gets re-added to the competition almost a dozen years later. What are your thoughts about its inclusion into the season yet again? I think it's great, you know, um, it, it can seem unfair with programming. If you're one of those people in the bubble, the first thing you're going to do, and I've lived this exact experience, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at every other semifinal, and you're going to start to pick apart these workouts and say, I would have qualified there, I would have qualified there, I would have qualified there. And so it, it really takes all those excuses away. You know, everybody who is on the bubble now has a chance to go against the other bubble athletes, prove that they deserve to be there, and don't be surprised if some of these men and women who qualify through the last chance end up doing really well at the games because uh, there's not a big difference, you know, between first and sixth at these semifinal events. There's some great athletes in those fields. Well, you are living proof of that very notion. So uh, uh, we'll definitely keep our eyes on the athletes in the last chance qualifier. Tommy, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me and uh, best of luck, man. Hey, thank you, Tommy. That's gonna do it for this edition of Inside the Leaderboard presented by Thorne. Visit thorne.com and check out the official supplement partner of CrossFit, trusted by US national teams and more than 100 professional sports teams. The CrossFit Games are coming up soon, but first we get to fill out the rest of the field through the Last Chance Online Qualifier, and we'll get to see all of those athletes compete in person now that special exemptions have been granted for athletes traveling to the United States. And if you wanna catch them competing in person, you can get your games tickets, they're still on sale now at games.crossfit.com.